Bisping, 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 Mr. Bisping, Bisping, Bisping. Bisping. Into it, so we got big fights this week. Is it? Is it this weekend? Alia Tapori and Josh Emma. That is this week. That's UFC yeah, Jackson. Well, we'll we'll talk about that later. Uh, I guess the big story is uh, regarding Conor McGregor and not the accusations that happened last week, but uh, he's out of the testing pool now. He's out of the testing pool. Sorry, not pardon me. He's not out of the testing pool. The time has expired for him to get back into the testing pool to make the deadline of the last pay-per-view of the year. I believe it's December 16th at the T-Mobile Arena. Um, I don't know if that necessarily means that the fight's dead in the water yet. I think there is maybe some maybe special circumstances. But according to the six-month rule, if we're following that to the letter, then yeah, that's done. That's over. Who knows? Maybe they delay it. Maybe they do it in January. You know, what do you think, Harrington? Well, I mean, if they do it in January, that means that the clock is already ticking for McGregor to jump back in, you know, by, by well, next yeah. month. Well, and yeah, yeah, we like, know that. Yeah, and then, but, you know, if, they, if you do the month after, it's ticking for that one as well. But it's there's no urgency. Just, just like the submarine, the clock <laughs> is ticking. Okay. Time is is always moving on. We know that. You don't need to point that out, Harrington. Come on, I, bro. <laughs> I just <laughs> look, I mean, other than him, you know, having a having a boxing spar with Dylan Dennis at some crappy gym in, in the Lower East Side here, there's nothing that's indicating to me that Conor McGregor is like, you know, is switching that gear to like, you know, to to put himself back into uh into like, you know, any kind of a training camp or any kind of a killer mode like like you know, yeah, like I yeah. said, I just don't see that urgency for McGregor to get back into the testing pool. I, I saw a little. Uh, I, I didn't. See, is there a video of him and Dylan Danis? I, it was, is, I think it was just pictures. Let me check. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I saw a report. I didn't click on it or anything. But I mean, look, listen. The man's got a lot going on right now. He's got a lot of distractions, shall we say? He's always distracted. Of course, he is because of his lifestyle and who he is and the success that he's had. But obviously, with this thing in the Miami Heat. And by the way, now she's coming out. I saw that. Um, she said she was offered a hundred grand by the Miami Heat security to stay quiet. Also, sounds a bit weird. Like the, <laughs> the security guards have the authority. All right, listen, we'll give you a hundred grand. Okay, <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? Well, it, it just doesn't add up. But, go, but, but we talked about that. We're going to go back to the fight. Uh, what did Michael Chandler say? I mean, I know he was like, where the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that guy? You got the exact quote from him, though, what he said? Uh, actually, Brian, if you want to bring up, uh, I think he put he posted a video on Twitter that shows it, because if I'm not mistaken, on the day uh, that the McGregor uh, uh, thing expired, USADA actually showed up to Michael Chandler's house, and he's like, wait a minute. Wait, no. what's going on here? I thought, I, no, hold on, just before you play, I thought that was a joke. He said, the only way, what are you going to do to add insult to injury if they show up at my house. Okay, maybe I maybe I yeah, mistook yeah. the well, way that. Well, play, play the video. Play the video, Brian. Let's see what I can see who's right or wrong. I'm on the edge of my seat here. <laughs> all right, guys. You guys have all seen the news. Connor's not in USADA. 179 days left until December 16th, which is supposed to be the last pay-per-view of the year. And comically. You saw the shows up at my door today. Oh, they did. You were right. You were right. My bad. <laughs> All right, guys. So they did show up at his house. My bad. I mean, that. Oh, sorry. I read it wrong. So that does add insult to injury. They <laughs> show up big. at his house. <laughs> you can't write it. That's comical genius. <laughs> I mean, you would think, listen, whoever's the, the USADA appointment maker, secretary to the USADA, you might say. You think they might be like, look, listen, don't go today. Today's the deadline. You know what I mean? We've been testing I and Mike Chandler day in, day out. He's clean as a whistle. Do you know what I mean? Don't do it today. Maybe track down McGregor and see what's going on. Oh, dear. You know, Chandler's the big loser in this one. Simple as that, he really is. The reality is the sport of mixed martial arts continues to move on. Uh, and it even will continue to move on. And there will be other stars, big stars. Don't know if we'll ever see another McGregor again. You know, I'm not sure if they will, but the sport always continues to move on. But that was going to be, regardless, a massive payday for Michael Chandler and, the, and for the fans, for the public, because Chandler's always fantastic, entertaining as hell, every single fight, win or lose. I mean, those fights against Gagey and Poirier, classics, Dan Hooker, that was awesome whilst it lasted. The fight with Charles Oliveira, sensational. Him versus McGregor would have been a 
brilliant matchup. You know, McGregor doesn't lose out. McGregor's not asked. You know, he's probably, who knows? I, I, I could see a world where he probably never fights again. I know he, he loves fighting. He loves to talk about it. He loves to actually take part in fights. But the reality is with the money that he's made, the lifestyle that he's got, it's just not conducive. You know, I don't even want to hear about silk sheets. When you're rolling around in sink, silk yachts, do you know what <laughs> I mean? You know, and you, you're getting all these kind of accusations and whatnot. It's fucking hard, man. It's just hard. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you did mention uh, uh, Michael Chandler. Great fights yeah. with Dustin Poirier. Great fight with Justin Gaethje. You know who else had great fights with Dustin Poirier? Great fights with Dustin Gaethje. And a couple great fights with Michael Chandler. Yeah, Eddie Alvarez. Eddie Alvarez. I mean, he's trying to... He says, I'm cleaning as a whistle also. The only thing I'll test positive, what was it, protein shakes or some shit like that. Um, he said, Dana White, you got my number. I mean, that'd be great. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see Eddie Alvarez back in the UFC. But uh, it ain't Callum McGregor, is it? So, yeah, it's a shame. It really is a shame. Please, please.